at large by the little water place. I'm talking about Poughkeepsie. It's a very good city. It's from Poughkeepsie. It's a city in New York. It's a wonderful city. It's a heck of a city. Hi. I almost didn't see you there. You're watching Poughkeepsie Character Show. Now, if you've never seen a character show before, you're gonna see each of our cast members perform an original comedy character monologue that they wrote and produced all by themselves. First up is Billy Eichner, guest starring on Grey's Anatomy. Hi, I'm Billy Eichner and I'm a doctor. I'm gonna make you feel better. Because I'm a people person, that's why. Okay, it says here that you have blood in your stool. Gross. To get your diagnosis, answer one question. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. Oh my God, you're incurable. Next! You, oh my God, you're giving birth. Push! Come on, baby, you have to live so you can hear Patty Lapone sing. She's a revelation. Oh my God, it's a girl. Okay, ma'am, to keep your baby, why hasn't Glenn Close won an Oscar yet? <laughs> that was Jonathan Appel, and now a TikTok star. Okay guys, story time. Remember when I decided to get my own apartment and I found this super nice artist loft in Dumbo? But then the pandemic happened and now there's no one to haunt. So I guess I'm starting a TikTok. Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house board. Bored in a house and I'm in a house board. Bored in a motherfucker in a house board and I'm bored in a motherfucker in a house board. Bored in a house, bored in a house board. Bored in a house, bored in a house board. I'm bored in a motherfucker in a house board. Give it up for Kyle Marion. Cheers to you, Kyle. And up next, a message from one of our sponsors, Pamela Flash Pam. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Hi, I'm Pamela Flash Pam, inventor of the Pamela Flash Pam Flash Can. It's a can you can have sex with. Gentlemen, here's the plan. First, you're going to cram my homemade dough into the can and bake it at 350 for five minutes. Then, damn, the dough expands into the shape of a soft, warm vajam. Next, let it cool until it's just 10 degrees above room temperature, and bam, you're ready to place your man hand into the Pamela Flash Pan flesh can and go to town. Wow, order now! I made this can for a man, because when I walk down the street feeling glam, men shout, Shake those tits, ma'am! And I think, damn, I'm tired of being in this jam, so I invented the Pamela Flash Pan flesh can so men can stop flashing their man hand toward my vajam, start fucking this can, and I can walk down the street. So get the Pamela Flash Pam Flesh Can, because a flesh can from Flash Pam means you'll ejaculate spick and span like a man with a plan. Then I don't have to find the courage in who I am to yell, scram, fuck this can and not my pajam. And wherever you carry my can, Japan, Iran, Sudan, a catamaran, or even in your minivan. No matter where you jam, it'll be such a grand slam, you'll fall into a blissful sleep, and I'll be like, Shazam! No man cam! I'm on the lamb! And then we'll all be saying, Wham, bam, thank you, Pam! Order! ta -dam! Hot! That was Juliet Ogilvy, and now a fashion designer. Yes, hello, it's a me, Arabella Bellucci, international fashion designer and cultural icon, but of course, you already know that. Okay, today I want to make a special video blog because people keep saying I seem uh, eccentric and out of touch. What? I am so down to earth. I want to show you guys that I am just like you. I put my pants on two legs at a time and I brush my teeth in the morning with aloe vera. Now it's time for a question from Twitter. Hold on, I cannot see. Much better. Arabella, what is your daily routine? Bene, it's so boring. Every morning my alarm goes off. My alarm is two Peruvian doves that land on my eyelids and gently coo me awake. 
Then I roll out of bed and into my cryo chamber, swallow a dragon fruit hole, and I'm ready to go. Next. Okay. Let's see. Arabella, what inspires you? Everything. Everything. This photo by Annie Leibovitz. This vase is where I keep my memories. Ha! The fair. Good one. Most importantly, my muse, Gina Hadid. And no, she is not named after Gigi. She was here first. She's 27. She's very shy, but once you get to know her, she is them. Um, even more shy. Okay, who broke this? That was Mary Nappy, and now AP English with Professor Hobbs. Hi, thank you all for joining today. Let's pick up right where we left off with the flowers of rhetoric. Now, these are patterns in language and grammar that make a phrase memorable. Uh, you might already be familiar with a few of these, so let's just jump right in with alliteration. This is when we repeat words that start with the same letter. Uh, for example, in Lizzo's song, Heaven Help Me, there's a reason that the lyric reads Heaven Help Me rather than Heaven Assist Me. Uh, next up, polyptotum. This is when a word is repeated in a different sense within the same sentence. Uh, for example, Lizzo's truth hurts. Great is being used in two different ways here. Aposiopesis is when a sentence just trails off. Lizzo has never done this, so here's just three pictures of Lizzo. Tricolon. Examples like black, white, ebony. Big dick energy. J.F. Kennedy. You gotta listen to Better in Color. Epistrophe is Lizzo's boys, Skisis Onomaton is Lizzo's lingerie, Katy Perry is not relevant to your curriculum, Epizuxis are parallel repetitions, Conjuries are lists, Iconic is Lizzo's VMA performance, did you see it? Girl slams a bottle of Patron on stage, it's amazing. Did everybody already know about Lizzo? Because I am shocked that it took a pandemic for me to discover her. Now. In conclusion, your midterm next week will be for 65% of your grade. Why? Because I'm 100% that bitch. Class dismissed. Ooh, that was Hugh Hobbs. And now a message from one of our celebrity sponsors, Gwyneth Paltrow. Hello. Welcome back to our In Goop Health virtual sessions with me, Gwyneth Paltrow. Now, I mean, this is just such a stressful time, and stress wreaks havoc on our digestive systems, so we here at Goop are thrilled to launch Goop Poop. That's right, our newest product is my very own actual poop. Now, Goop Poop is based off of innovative science happening in Sweden by Dr. Turdendu. I hope I said that right who discovered that surgically transplanting healthy poop from a healthy person like me into the gut of an unhealthy person like you repopulates healthy gut bacteria in your body. Now, I think we all know that my poop is beautiful and you can get it in this craft jar, as well as my microbiome infused face mask you just pop this off, dab some here, and rub it. As well as a probiotic supplement that is a tablet of my own poop. Yum. Now, I poop because I love my goopies. And of course, you can find all of these products on goop.com for only $5,000 a turd. And speaking of shit, I just finished my Goop Glow coffee and duty calls. That was Cameron Sullivan. And now, a bag of Wonder Bread. This is the Bag of Wonder Bread, and you're listening to my podcast. Carbo Glow! Live from the bread aisle, serving up hot takes by the hot cakes. Now let's get into it. Today's subject's got me real toasted. Yeah. You know, for a long time now, white bread has been the subject of a public schmear campaign. 
I mean, we've all heard the talking points. White bread leverages its position of systemic power and hoard opportunity away from other bread. White bread actively absorbs and erases the cultures of other diverse breads in order to maintain dominance. White bread gives you constipation. I mean, Jesus Christ. Now look, I'm not a grain cyst. In fact, I took one of those tests and it turns out I'm actually 2% brown bread. And really, if you go back far enough, we're all brown bread, you know, ancient grains. My producer, Gallon of Whole Milk, is telling me it's already time for our first commercial break. Remember, Karma Load wouldn't be able to keep delivering you top shelf content episode after episode without dough from our generous sponsor over in aisle four, Axe Body Spray. Axe! Because wiping your ass is gay. When we come back, we're going to hop on Breddit and take some questions for a little listener Q&A. Karma Load! And then I says to him, I says, oh. Didn't see you there. That was Kevin Nechai. And up next, a gynecologist. Cheers. Hello, Ashley. It's so good to see you for your annual OBGYN visit. I just finished with your mom. Don't worry, I wash my hands. So you're still at Blair College, right? I heard it's a big party school. Look at me trying to gossip again. <laughs> Once I'm on a roll, it's like my mouth is giving birth. <laughs> Just blah, blah, placenta. All right, well, I gotta ask you the normal questions. Are you sexually active? Well done. How many partners? One, okay. What's his name? Has he been to jail? What's his SAT score? Trust me, okay, these lips are sealed but the cervix is fully dilated and ready for an IUD. I think it's time we all get back to what is important. Did you hear that Ben Affleck is dating Ana de Almas? Poor Jennifer Gardner. An Electra me out of there. Oh. Great vagina though. My need to goss is just like a prostate. Gets very excited when touched, but isn't touched often enough. Thank you, Nurse Shannon. Just as I suspected. Nurse Shannon is totally mad at me. I don't know why she'd be mad at me. It might be because I started a rumor that she's got a tattoo of a porpoise. Turns out the tattoo was actually of the anniversary of a son's death. Such Shonda Rhimes drama. Cheers. That was Marina DiMarzo, and now a message from one of our sponsors, Bev. Hey, you want a dog? I can make one. Here at Bev's Backyard Dog Breeding, I'll make you any kind of dog you want. If you can dream it, I can build it. Dog breeding is a passion of mine. Ever since I woke up in a puddle of sweat and I thought, I want to make dogs fuck. Can a big dog fuck a little dog? Fuck yes, fuck yes. Save for Yorkie, Pomeration, puff with it. Your dog wishes my command. I don't just breed for beauty. Every dog comes with Bev's guarantee to run fast, have weird teeth, and not know its own strength. And you love our promotions. By one dog, get one hip display to race free. Save your dog discount. I give you my own dogs, because they don't want to fuck anymore. Believe me, I've tried. And the Mother's Day door buster sale. I busted your mom's house and give her a dog. So come on down to Bev Burger Dog Breeding. I sell every kind of dog, including Blood Hunt, Chinese Crested Mastiff, Sharpie, Huskoodle, Great Dane Wawa, French Gold Dog, Bull Dicky, Scotty Hound, Golden. I also sell meth. That was Kathleen Cameron. Thanks, Kathleen. And now, a message from the future. Hey, what's up, Fem? It's your boy, XS Archangel, or 812, but people like to call me Little Musky Boy. I'm coming to you live from the future, 2035, from my daddy's spaceship, Elon Musk, not the president of the United States. And I see you saying that my name is weird. I'm here to tell you, I'm just a regular teenager. When I wake up, I just eat what regular teenagers eat. <laughs> Cereal. Oh, yum. <laughs> then I call my little mummy and daddy to see if they're fine down on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> then it's time for my favorite part of the day, school. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, fam, I do my little skincare routine before I go to bed. I use facial cleanser. And let's not forget, 
pee from a space worm that also happens to be my godmother. <laughs> That's it, fam. That just proves that I'm a regular teenager. And so what if my mom, Flotus, was the one responsible to bring hobbits back to Earth? And the person that created slime. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm running out of time. The cure for coronavirus is... Wrapping up with Raphael Ralpha. And that's our show, folks. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in on June 21st at 6 p.m. for our next show. Right here on the internet. Stay safe. It's a very good city. It's called Poughkeepsie. It's a city in